Hey, hey there, YouTube friends and fam, Cold Case Cause here. And we are here in La Plata Canyon. And we're here the exact, right here, the exact parking spot where David Lundy, um, that's how it's pronounced. It's not David Lund. It's specifically pronounced, I think, David Lundy. Um, was parked when he went on the La Plata Enchilada, which is this trail right here. I just wanted to show you, I got the dogs out here. This is the trail beginning to go to Madden Peak. And Madden Peak is the main peak here in the La Plata Mountains. We're in the San Juan National Forest. And right here is exactly the spot on across the road, right where I'm pointing where David Lundy's blue compact car was located on October 1st of last year, 2022. <clears throat> and uh, today is October 25th, 2023. So we are here a little over a year later to the day. Um, this would have been around the same time that David took this trail. Um, it was supposed to be just a quick, uh, well, not a quick, but a day run. Um, it's like 15 miles, I think said, uh, between 15 and 40. But he got here at 7 a.m. and ran right up this trail right here. And that's how I marked it was by that concrete pillar from the news. So that's how I found this place. And, um, there's Nipsey's. Nipsey, say hello. Say hello, Nips. Nipsey's ready to go on a search. There's the old girl over there. We're going to take her for a little bit of a hike. But we're going to do, we're going to get up here on the loop. So the La Plata Enchilada is this trail, which has um, been named kind of by the locals and the local athletes, um, is this trail here. And it goes up and it hits all the mountain peaks that are here in the La Plata Mountains right here in this area. So it goes to Madden Peak and then it goes over to the other two peaks and it's like a big circle. So we're gonna just take this trail and try to get up there and go to Madden Peak today. Um, you know, on the first day, I don't like to go too hard with the dogs. You know, you never wanna overdo it. So we'll probably try to keep it around 10 miles today. And, uh, but I'm going to try to get some good footage once we get up to the top. But it's a beautiful fall day here. Um, most of the leaves have all fallen off the aspens, as you can see. So I thought there would be, it would be beautiful golden forests out here. But um, I believe the leaves have blown off in the harsh winds. Um, so we have snow coming this Sunday coming up. So in like three, four days, we're going to have our first snowfall. So I wanted to get up here. And kind of make David's search like the last one of the summer. Because I actually knew David Lundy. Um, I sold him oak firewood. I used to have a firewood business. And I would go cut this oak. Because here in Colorado, the only good hardwood is uh, gamble oak. And it's uh, really good for cooking and smoking meats and stuff. And uh, it's the best firewood that Colorado has to offer as far as hardwood goes. Um, so I was selling that by the cord and Mr. David would, um, buy f cords of oak firewood off of me, <coughs> excuse me. And I would come and deliver it to the James ranch in a trailer and unload it and stack it for him. And that's kind of how I knew David was from the James ranch. Um, he would order the firewood and I think they would burn him use it for heat, but they would also use some of it to cook with at the James Ranch Cafe there, which is a delicious little organic food cafe. And that's how I knew David. So when I heard about this case, you know, it kind of hits home and, you know, I've had him on the list for a long time to come up here and search. You know, we just got done with the Ian O'Brien case, which was literally on the other side of this mountain peak right here where I'm pointing up and over. Um, he's on, he, his search was on the other side. So we spent you know, a couple months this summer looking for Ian O'Brien over there 
And now we're over here on the other side of the mountain in the actual La Plata Canyon. And that's where we are right now in La Plata Canyon. So it's a beautiful day. It rained yesterday and it got real cold overnight. The coldest night it's gotten yet. Um, it's got, got down into the 30s. I'd say about 32, 33, because everything frosted is the first frost. So it, it was a sign that we needed to get out here and make this search uh, one of the last ones of the summer because we got snow coming real quick. And usually how I can judge it historically is um, by Halloween, we've had a snowfall. Usually the kids around here trick or treat in snow boots. So that's kind of funny. That's a Colorado thing you can live by here in southwest Colorado is uh, kids trick-or-treating in warm clothes and snow gear. <laughs> so especially in the mountain towns. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful canyon. We got the dogs here. We got a good breakfast. Um, we got water with us and uh, it's going to be a beautiful search today. We're here in the beautiful La Plata Canyon. And we're gonna pray that we can, so this time of year is a great time to search because the smells are real low. Um, the air is real dry and crisp. Um, the dogs will be able to pick up on scents real easy. It's been a year, so there should be scatter. Um, if there is, if he even is out here. So he went on this hike and he was supposed to, he left with a brown hat, um, red shoes, a cell phone, two bottles of water is what it said. <clears throat> in the news so that's all stuff that's still going to be scattered around so that's what we're going to be looking for i got the binoculars i got quality binoculars and i'm we're going to be scanning and this is great that the leaves have fallen off the trees because it, it makes where you can look across on a mountainside and see uh you know man-made items clothes stuff like that shoes stuff you know he's got bright red shoes so i mean those will, should be able to stick out on a mountainside so this is a great time of year to search for people because you can scan mountainside with good optics and pick up little nuances, little tiny shines of light, sparkles of light in the sun that you can see. A lot of times it will be like someone's sunglasses that fell off or, <clears throat> you know, binoculars or anything like that. But uh, we're going to give it a, a big hike today and get up on top and this La Plata enchilada. I'm going to try to get some good footage. But I just wanted to show you the actual beginning of where David Lundy's car was parked. His blue compact car was right here. And I'll put a picture of that um, on the thumbnail. But we got <clears throat> someone coming up the road here. But I just wanted to say thank you and welcome to all the new wonderful subscribers that I've gotten. Um, it's been such a blessing, folks from the Plunder channel. And folks from Sweetie Pilo, Sweetie Pilo is a uh, just an angel and such a blessing. And Naomi, if you haven't seen that interview, go on my page and you can go on the community section and click on it. and Or go to Sweetie Pilo's page and watch the actual interview. Um, it was a great interview. And um, hopefully we can get together again soon and do another interview and uh, maybe take some questions. Uh, got some traffic on this road. I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be quiet, more quiet this time of year. A lot of the tourists get on out of here the first freeze, but the leaves have all fallen off, so people kind of get on out. But this is where David Lund disappeared. This is the trailhead right here. So we're gonna give it the college try today, and we're gonna be real observant of our surroundings and see what the great creator will reveal to us um hopefully we um you know david lunde i learned was a very uh spiritual person and uh, he had turned his life over to jesus christ <clears throat> so we want to see if we can't have the good lord reveal to us where he's at and um maybe you could say a little prayer for us you folks at home and um and we can have a little luck from the creator so i just want to say hit that like and subscribe if you can it's the only thing that keeps us going around here 
and uh, hit that bell notification it'll tell you every time I go live or uh, upload a video so and I wanted to say thank you to the evil exist fans that are here and who else um, if I'm missing anyone I just want to say thank you for all the new folks and the kind words and the uplifting comments that I've received uh, it's been such a blessing and uh, hopefully I can bring some good fall footage of this these San Juan Mountains here and the Madden Peak. So we'll talk to you soon, and thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Say bye, Kaga. Say bye, Zoom.